And so Samuel says, I just like staying home and watching Jeopardy. Mm -hmm. So I said, fine. If you want to stay in, I'm going to go out for a night on the town. Good for you. Thank you. Hit me. Bust. Ugh, I hate this game. That's because you're losing. Hit me. Ugh, you bitch. Pony up those dimes. Let's go. Hey. Deborah, what about you and Glenn? What about him? You just never really complain about him. What is his secret? What secret? I just don't give a shit. Oh, come now. Come now what? Hit me. Bust. No. He has his life and I have mine. That's how it's been for years since the kids all moved out. And you're just okay with that? Okay with that? I'm over the moon. I'll stand. 21. <sighs> Pony up. Haul it. Thank you. Well, I don't want to have a separate life. Why not? I married this man so we could have a life together. That's for a limited time. Maybe for you, Deborah. Maybe for me. Just because you're living separate lives with Glenn doesn't mean that I want to live a separate life from Samuel. Well, where is he right now, Ethel? Hmm? Hit me. Damn it. So, did anyone hear about Beth Shemansky? Is she dead? No, worse. Worse? Her and Al are getting... <sighs> divorced? No, they're getting surgery. That is possible. It's very possible. All right, fine. They're getting divorced. No. I saw it coming from a mile away. But they're so happy. Happy on the outside, on the inside, miserable. Oh. They were too happy seeming. Like when he threw her that birthday party. Mm. What happened? He threw her a birthday party that he plans himself. That's sweet, no? It's too much. It's sick. Sick? It's a show. Happy on the outside, miserable on the inside. It's like a circus for everyone. Yeah. Like Stanley and I, we're miserable on the outside and on the inside. See, it matches. It matches. It does match.